What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you how to color four different types of skies. And for this video I'm going to show you how to do it with Copic markers and you're going to need a lot of Copic markers for this video. But every single Copic marker that you'll need for this video will be listed somewhere on the screen but this is a lot. But I'll just break it down into a few parts like for each sky you'll probably need like four or five but one of them you're going to need a whole lot of colors for because we're going to be doing a sunset sky as well. But we're going to start with some basics and then towards the end of the video it's going to get a little bit challenging. So let's get to it. Okay so the first sky that we're going to draw, we're going to draw just the basic sky, your basic blue sky. So the colors you'll need are B00, B01, B02, and B05. You could also use B04 but I don't have a B04 so B05 is my next best thing. So let's get to it to it actually so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down my base color of my B double zero so um, you can use either the chisel tip or the brush tip to do just that you won't necessarily have to go um, uh, very precise with it or you don't have to actually lay down the entire box um, that's what I actually have here is a bunch of boxes so what I'm gonna do for now is I'm just gonna go um, making horizontal lines just like this because that's what the sky uh, pattern kind of looks like I mean it wouldn't look right if there were a bunch of um, vertical lines going up and down like this I mean you can do it in that way but I feel this way is a bit easier um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my darkest color ooh, which is B05 and I'm just gonna go over the top just like this. We're not going to add too many layers to the top, to this top dark color because um, this B05 is kind of hard to blend with the B02 because I don't have a B04. So in my case, I wouldn't have to add too many layers of the B05 because it would be harder to blend if I did. Um, for now, we can go on to add our B02. Um, we can use a chisel tip for this as well. Okay, and now it's starting to get a bit filled in. So let's try to go a bit closer to the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to transition to our a little bit uh, lower color, which is uh, B01. I, meant, I said lower color, I meant lighter color. And it does look a little bit greenish. At least the way I'm viewing it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is a good color combination for a fairly blue sky. And then we can go back with our base color. And blend it back into what we did in the beginning. And now we can try to do our same process over again, but try to make this gradient a bit longer. What I mean by that is, um, see how we did with the uh, BO2? We kind of went right about here. So let's try to go like a little bit lower, like say down to here a bit. But we don't necessarily have to go very, very low, just low enough so we, um, so it'd be a believable sky. And at this point, we don't have to really blend as much as we did earlier. And there, that's your uh, basic blue sky. Um, let's transition to the other square so I can show you guys how to do a night sky. Okay, now for this night sky, you're only going to need three colors. You're going to need B37, B39, and C9. This is a cool grade number nine. Okay, so like usual, we're going to take our base color and give ourselves a wet layer for the other markers to work on top of to make it easy to blend. And again, we're going to continue with horizontal lines just to get started. 
And then we're gonna go with our B39. And again, going over top, just like so. And we're gonna try to go very, very low. Like say two thirds of the way there. And it does kind of look like two completely different blues, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna, um, we're gonna smoothen it out all later. Okay, and then we're gonna take our initial blue and blend it back in with that, um, with that darker blue. And we're gonna try to work in streaks so it, that way it can stay smooth. And just, just keep going with it. Okay, so that's looking pretty smooth down there. But now let's try to get a bit smooth up here. But before we go on to add the B39 again, adding another layer on top of that, we're gonna go with our C9 and make it darker. That way it saves us the trouble of adding B39 again. After a second time, I mean. Okay, and then here is our second time. And just to, re just to reiterate, we're trying to do this just once. So just keep working over top the cool gray. It'll blend with the blue. So that way it gets a bit darker. And then we can apply our B37 one last time. And let's try to go over top of everything this time. And that way there is a good gradient. And then if you want, I'm going to take my gel pen and kind of add some stars for a night sky. I mean, the ink will probably be, be wet still because we just we like we just finished up. So I can, uh, I mean, you won't see a lot of the gel pen. It's either that or this thing is kind of old. So I'll add some stars. All right, and there is your night sky. So let me transition to the next square so I can show you how to do a sunset. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a sunset sky. The colors you'll need for this one are YR09, R08, YR07, YR04, and Y35. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Y35, and just start from the bottom this time. And again with the streaks, we're going on a horizontal line direction. And we're not gonna go completely up, we're just gonna stop around halfway. And then we're gonna take our reddest red, which is uh, YR09. I'm gonna cover not much of it. Let's say we're gonna stop right about there. Okay, and then we're gonna go to R08. I'm just gonna add a little bit of red there. Then YR07. And this is the point that we're gonna start and get into that yellow. So we can add some stuff there. And then we're gonna go to our YR04. Okay, and then that leaves us with the rest of the yellow that we can use to uh, make another layer on it and blend it back into that orange that we just laid down. And then we're just gonna keep going in a horizontal line back and forth until we get that blend that we want. Okay, and it looks like the R08 looks more like a, an actual red. So let's go ahead and change that. So R08 is going at the top now. And we're going to switch that so R09 comes next. I mean, why R09 comes next? And then YR07 and YR04. 
And let's try to get some of that wire 07 into that R08. And then one more layer of the Y35. And again, we're gonna keep going until we get a good gradient. And there, that's a smooth sunset Copic gradient. Now I'm gonna show you how to do one more sky and bear with me because it's confusing as hell and we're gonna use a lot of colors for it. So stick with me. Okay, so for this final sky, I'm going to show you how to do another sunset, but this time it's going to incorporate a little bit of purple into it. And for this guy, we're going to use eight colors, and those eight colors are V06, RV19, RV29, R27, R08, YR07, YR16 and Y38 <laughs> yeah that's a lot of colors but as you can see the color cast they kind of look like that entire gradient that we're just about to color so let's do it but instead of doing what we did earlier by laying down a base color and then working our way backwards and forwards from there we're actually going to start with the top color and then work our way down and just keep blending in between so what we can do is we're going to start off with our V08 at the top and we're not going to add too much of it. You can add as many layers as you need to, but we're going to pretty much stop there. Okay. But instead of going to RV19, which is our next color, we're going to go to RV29. We're going to kind of skip ahead. And we can make this come down a little bit because we're almost halfway there. Okay. And then we can use RV19 to blend those two colors together. Okay, and then we can take our V06 and blend that back in. And it's gonna look a little bit dark, but that's how it's supposed to look. Or at least that's how I did it <laughs> prior to making this video. Okay, so as you can see, there's a smooth gradient going on here, which means we're getting somewhere. Okay, so our next color would be R27, and we're going to use that, and this is the kind of red that would transition from this um, magenta color towards the colors that we used for this previous sky, to like our um, actual warm colors. But before we get to those, we're going to come back to our RV29 and blend that red back in. Okay, and then our next color would be R08. So again, this is another transition color that would bring us towards our warm uh, reds and yellows. Our warmer colors, actually. Okay, so again, we're not going to apply too much of it. Or too much of it going down, actually. I don't know how else to word it, but we're not going to come down with it too much. Okay, so next is our YR07. And just keep going back and forth until we get a good blend. Okay, and our next color is YR16. And this is our, again, a transition color from this orange and red to our final color, which will be a yellow. And then that will be our Y38, which will be our yellow with the yellow. Um, whatever you want to call it, it'll just be a yellow for now. Okay, and if anything doesn't look right, you can just go back to it. Like the YR07, that looks a little bit shabby. And the R08 as well. 
and as you can see there's a uh, sunset and stuff going on which incorporates some pink but it's not exactly pink but it's a uh, red violet so it's kind of like a pink but not exactly and it also incorporates some purple which I mentioned before so that's initially what we were going and that's what we successfully made by using Copic markers also if you do plan on adding uh, clouds to this type of sky a color that I would use personally would be the BV08 but that's totally up to preference I'm not gonna waste time adding clouds to this sky because that's not what this video is about so that's gonna do it for my entire video on coloring four different types of skies an entire list of all the coping markers that I used for this video will pop up somewhere on the screen and I'll also break this video up into sections so you can see which coping markers I use for which sky, which will be easier. But if you did like my video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I pack my nigga like Pat Kate.